Come, all ye who love Christ, and let us offer up a hymn of praise unto the martyred nun Elizabeth, who was chosen by the Lord of hosts to serve as an example of Christian piety and love for those who desire to follow in his steps, for spurning the vanity of worldly possession, rank, and cares. She dedicated her whole life to the aid of those in need, wherefore it hath pleased Christ our God to crown her ascetic labors with the diadem of martyrdom, and dwelling now in his heavenly kingdom, she maketh supplication unto God that he deliver from misfortunes and perils all who chant unto her with joy. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. The creator of the angels and Lord of mankind led thee from the delusion of heresy to divine knowledge of the truth. O blessed Elizabeth, that thy loving heart and soul might renew Christian love, which hath grown cold in the land of Russia, for through thine effect, eff, efforts the hearts of men again warmed to the word of God, and the master of all vouchsafe thee to live a life exalted above thy peers in love, humility, and fervent prayer. Wherefore we ever chant unto thee, as is meet. Rejoice, lamp burning with the love of God. Rejoice, handmaid of Christ the Lord. Rejoice, scroll where on the Holy Spirit inscribed the Christian virtues. Rejoice, divinely wise princess and new martyr. Rejoice, daughter who forsook thy father's house and turned to holy orthodoxy. Rejoice, voice of prayer which is never silent. Rejoice, ever fountain flowing, ever fountain flowing of loving kindness. Rejoice, blessed inhabitant of the Garden of Eden. Rejoice, vessel wherein the wine of gladness and the oil of healing are mingled together. Rejoice, upholder of the traditions of piety. Rejoice, treasure house of compassion. Rejoice, radiant star resplendent with heavenly glory. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. Christ found thee like a lily among thorns and chose thee to adorn his garden of holy orthodoxy, O venerable one, for he who alone knoweth the hearts of men perceived from on high thy great love for thy neighbor and bestowed upon thee a wealth of spiritual gifts that we might come to understand the mystery of God's great mercy, enabling us to take part with thee therein, and to join chorus with thee in chanting to unto him, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Knowing in thy heart that God's will rules <coughs> over all creation, and seeking to obey his will alone, thou wast well pleased to shoulder the great cross which he prepared for thee, O Holy One. For when thou didst witness the cruel and pitiless slaughter of thy husband, thy heart was pierced with grief and sorrow, as with a two-edged sword. Yet thou didst take courage and uttered the Savior's own words, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And seeking to turn this vile deed to goodness, thou didst beseech him who committed the murder to repent, and we too beg thine intercession before the Lord, that he avert his righteous anger from us, who chant to thee with such praises as these. Rejoice, thou who didst deem mercy greater than sacrifice. Rejoice, thou who prayest for sinners and penitents. Rejoice, thou who didst bear thy cross to a new Golgotha. Rejoice, thou who didst not reject the crown of thorns offered thee. Rejoice, thou who didst put jealousy to flight. Rejoice, thou who reprovest those who fall away from truth and grace. Rejoice, thou who didst not set the love of family above the love of God. Rejoice, thou who didst fulfill the words of Christ. Rejoice, thou who didst seek out the good in every man. Rejoice, thou who was sent unto Russia to turn her away from evil to the good. Rejoice, thou who dost ever cry out to Christ, Lord, have mercy. Rejoice, thou who standest invisibly in our midst as we pray. 
Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true martyr of Christian sacrifice. The royal of the Most High overshadowed thy sorrow and pain, O royal passion bear, and finding sweet consolation therein, thou didst die to this world, that thou mightest live in Christ, thou didst shun the fleeting pleasures and vanities of this life, didst clothe thyself in garments of joy and salvation, and didst abide in the churches of God, as before thou didst dwell in palaces, praying and chanting to God therein, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. With a fervent desire to serve thy fellow men, thou didst gather a multitude of souls to labor for God, and raising up a house of mercy, which thou didst dedicate to the protection of the all-holy Theotokos. O holy Elizabeth, thou didst choose our holy mothers, Martha and Mary, as thy heavenly patrons, emulating them as paragons of piety and good works, and mindful of the magnitude of thy charitable deeds and Christian virtues, we praise thy memory, chanting thus, Rejoice thou who didst open thy heart to good deeds, Rejoice thou who didst gather the virtues into a spiritual shelf. Rejoice thou who didst re has been reckoned among, among the friends of Christ. Rejoice thou who didst hearken to his sweet words. Rejoice thou who dost ever rejoice in thy Lord. Rejoice thou who fillest our hearts with joy when we call upon thy name. Rejoice thou who rewardest those who seek thy heavenly aid. Rejoice thou who dost speedily fulfill the requests of those who have recourse to thee with faith. Rejoice thou who hast adorned the city of Moscow. Rejoice, obedient handmaid of the holy Mary and Martha. Rejoice thou who didst hide thy good works from the eyes of the haughty. Rejoice thou who dost call all of us to perform deeds of mercy. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true martyr of Christian sacrifice. Those who were tempest-tossed amidst the tumults of life and foundered upon the floods of the passion, didst thou guide to the calm haven of salvation, which thou didst establish in the royal city of Moscow, O holy Elizabeth. For having opened thy heart unto God, thou didst open its doors to the children of God, showing them the mercy of their heavenly Father, Wherefore thou hast now been shown to be the patronage of the forgotten and oppressed. Cover us all with thy holy protection, that we may be moved to cry aloud to our good God. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Accepting the counsel of the elders of the Hermitage of St. Zosimus, thou didst prove thyself to be an obedient daughter of the Orthodox faith. O venerable martyr, so that thine own words brought profit and consolation to all who hearkened unto thee. Thou wast a most wise abbess and a loving mother, who tended well the flock entrusted to thee, teaching them how to care for the afflicted as a sister of mercy by thine own example, O holy princess. Wherefore, tend thou also the ailments of our souls, that we may cry aloud, unto thee. Rejoice thou who anointest all with the oil of mercy. Rejoice thou who stillest the tempest of sorrows. Rejoice instruction of those who turn to orthodoxy. Rejoice pillar of truth set firmly upon the rock of the faith. Rejoice thou who dost rescue us from the mire of despondency. Rejoice thou who feedest the orphan and the widow. Rejoice thou who didst embrace charity with thy whole heart. Rejoice thou who didst exchange a palace for a poor and humble cell. Rejoice thou who didst put aside thy royal robes to don that hair shirt of asceticism. Rejoice thou who didst lay thy princely coronet at the feet of the Savior. Rejoice thou who didst take up the cross as a kingly scepter. Rejoice, thou who didst love God more than earthly honor and glory. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. 
Thou hast been revealed to us as a most radiant star, adorning the vault of the firmament of the church, O martyr of Christ, and ever illumined by the effulgence of thy sufferings. Unto Christ, the judge of the contest, do we offer him any of thanksgiving for thee, and we chant unto him, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Through the guidance of the heavenly intercessors, who shone forth in Russia, the venerable Sergius of Radonesh and Alexis, the divinely eloquent metropolitan of Moscow, in company with Martha and Mary, the sisters beloved of Christ, the narrow and royal path which alone leadeth to salvation was disclosed to thee, and traveling it thou became as a model for all orthodox Christians dwelling in the Russian Empire, showing them how to unite the ideals of ascetic endeavor and charitable acts, wherefore for thee grace was added unto grace, and whilst thou was yet alive, the report of thy holiness spread far and wide, the pious cried out in wonder to God, who is wondrous in his saints. Glory be to thee, O Lord, and to thee they uttered such praises as these. Rejoice, Zion, in her royal house, who tended this source of paupers with, with thine own hands. Rejoice, paragon of monastic virtue and rule of faith. Rejoice, thou who didst reject worldly praise and hast received heavenly rewards. Rejoice, thou who dost partake of everlasting splendor on high. Rejoice, thou who dost expose spiritual deception. Rejoice, thou who dost strengthen the common folk in the true faith. Rejoice, thou who dost ever summon the faithful to prayer and vigilance. Rejoice, thou who dost adopt the Russian land as thy homeland. Rejoice, thou who dost burn the praises of men. Rejoice, thou who art ever exalted by the, by the church. Rejoice, beacon guided all to the safe harbor of heaven. Rejoice, thou who didst labor, labor for Christ in the midst of the world. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christ Christian sacrifice. How can angels and men refrain from wonderment when they ponder the depths of thy love and compassion? For thy convent was not only a spiritual haven for those seeking salvation, but also a wellspring gushing forth torrents of consolation upon those parched by the burning heat of the passions, by thine own examples, or thy sisters, the handmaidens of Christ, taught how to comfort the sorrowing, tend the sick, teach the ignorant, correct the erring, and prepare the dying for the life which is to come. Wherefore thy nuns join chorus with thee to praise the Lord continually, chanting unto him, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. As a true image of piety, thou didst venerate the wonder-working icons and holy relics and shine throughout the Russian land. Her monasteries and countless churches witness thine ascetic feats and fervent prayers. Thy tears shed in such profusion adorn thy person like lustrous pearls and move to wonder those who beheld thee. And we who cherish thy holy memory exult in spirit, crying out to thee. Rejoice, image of piety, who delighted to venerate the sacred icons of the Mother of God. Rejoice, thou who dost ever bless those who have recourse unto thy precious relics. Rejoice, wise pilgrim, whose destiny was the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice, adornment of holy Russia. Rejoice, thou who art ever magnified by the holy church. Rejoice, thou who didst not forsake Russia in her time of tribulations. Rejoice, thou who didst perceive the providence of God in all that befell thee. Rejoice, thou who didst teach others to set their hope on Christ alone. Rejoice, thou who was present when the venerable seraphim was glorified. Rejoice, thou who didst venerate his grace-bearing relics. Rejoice, thou who didst hear the prophecy of that Holy Father. Rejoice, thou who didst prophesy the downfall of the Orthodox monarchy. 
Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. When those who had been told slanderous tales about thee were brought before thee, O royal martyr, they perceived thine innocence and blamelessness and the holiness of thy life, for thou didst sacrifice thyself for the good of others, and thy heart was ever intent upon their needs, so that thou didst ever move them to chant unto God, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thou didst declare unto those who sought to discredit thy convent and labors, This is no new creation or concept, neither do I depart from the church, church's traditions. I only repeat what the church teacheth, for it is Christ who saith, Love thy neighbor. And the divine theologian doth manifestly thunder, If you do not love your neighbor whom you see, you cannot love God whom you see not. Thou didst but renew that which had grown old, and hast revealed to us the essence of true love in the miracle of thy life. Wherefore, we chant to thee thus, Rejoice thou who dost ever care for our souls, Rejoice, holy princess, worthy of all praise. Rejoice, thou who dost unite love and mercy as a bridge joineth land to land. Rejoice, thou who dost know well the saving words of grace. Rejoice, thou who was persecuted for righteousness' sake. Rejoice, for truly great is thy reward in the heavens. Rejoice, thou who didst silence blasphemy and impiety by thy faith in Christ. Rejoice, thou who didst most humbly endure the calamity and slander hurled at thee by thine own countrymen. Rejoice, thou who didst love righteousness and hate falsehood. Rejoice, thou who didst not seek to avoid the reproaches of men, that thou mightest receive the praises from the Lord. Rejoice, thou who didst love the gospel above all else. Rejoice, thou who didst ever delight in the words thereof. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. Having beheld a sight strange to all, the fall of an empire once dedicated to God, the desecration, <coughs> the desecration of all that is holy, and the public ridicule of the martyr, the emperor Nicholas, thou didst shed endless tears, streams of tears for all the tribulations which had befallen thine adopted homeland. Yet trusting in God and believing this to be his holy will, thou didst never cease to cry to him, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, the nation was overtaken by chaos. <clears throat> Thy family was taken away and all thy friends stood afar off. Only a few friend, fearless hierarchs came to comfort thee, and thy sisters, O royal martyr. Thy comfort was a sheepfold beset by ravening wolves, yet thou didst remain undaunted by their deep depredations during those violent days, ever preserving thy flock from harm by thy supplications. Wherefore, from us, Receive these praises. Rejoice, royal servant of the omnipotent King. Rejoice, handmaid of the Queen of Heaven. Rejoice, thou who with the royal martyrs was praised to grievous slanders. Rejoice, thou who didst find consolation in the service of God. Rejoice, thou who didst not stretch the sinful lives of men. Rejoice, thou who didst refuse to condone their misdeeds. Rejoice, thou who didst uproot the tares of evil growing in the royal garden. Rejoice, thou who didst not approve of vile and wicked deeds. Rejoice, thou who never helpest us to see the will of God in all things. Rejoice, thou who didst rebuke the righteous multitude with thy courage. Rejoice, for thou didst not turn away from the hapless Zarwin when he was mocked and abused. Rejoice, thou who with him and his family dost ever rejoice in heaven. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true martyr of, of Christian sacrifice. The angelic armies on high were stricken with awe, 
beholding holy Russia bound and led to bloody slaughter by those who wage war against God, bleeding and dying in the arena of new martyrdom. The land is dyed red with the blood of the countless new martyrs who cry out continually to the Lord of hosts, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The vile minions of Satan, sinful men with hands reeking of the blood of the innocent, openly reviled God and mockingly asked thee how thou art, who art of royal blood, could minister to the poor and lowly, O royal passion bearer, but we marvel at thy patience and humility and cry unto thee. Rejoice thou who didst quench the flame of discontent with thy tears. Rejoice thou who didst lament the woes of Russia as Martha and Mary wept over Lazarus. Rejoice thou who didst submit to the will of God. Rejoice thou who didst behold the Savior enthroned on high. Rejoice, venerable martyr of royal birth. Rejoice thou who didst put to shame those who mistreated thee. Rejoice thou who dost bless those who bless thee. Rejoice thou who wipest the tears away from those who grieve. Rejoice thou who dost calm our troubled hearts. Rejoice thou who bowest down before the throne of God, offering him our entreaties. Rejoice thou who art attentive to his decrees. Rejoice thou who dost continually preserve us from all harm. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. Wishing to make thee captive, O martyr, evil-minded men arrived at thy convent on the third day of Pascha to separate thee from thy flock. For after the holy patriarch Tikha and the confessor blessed thee and thy nuns, the wicked fell upon thee and took thee away into exile. Yet knowing what was to follow, thou didst take with thee thy faithful companion, the venerable nun Barbara, and with thee she chanted the hymn of victory, risen unto Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Banished to the heart of Russia, hidden away from the eyes of the world, with prayer and fasting thou didst prepare for thy departure from this life, O Elizabeth, when to thy great joy thou wast re not reunited with thy faithful companion Barbara, and with the holy princes Sergius, John, Igor, Constantine, and Vlad Vladimir, who were all to share in thy sufferings and receive incorruptible crowns from the hands of the Savior, and sharing together in the height of heaven, attend ye unto our praises. Rejoice ye who are ever pray for the salvation of Russia. Rejoice ye who cast down, though cast down by the ungodly into the depths of have been raised up on high by Christ. Rejoice ye who shed the scarlet robe of royalty and put on the purple robe of martyrdom. Rejoice ye who were not deceived by the deceit of the evil one. Rejoice ye who lifted up your hands to God in supplication. Rejoice ye who cast away earthly riches to receive treasure in the heaven. Rejoice patient sufferers who endured all for the Lord. Rejoice ye who put to shame those who took your lives but could not slay your souls. Rejoice ye who received wreaths of victory fashioned by the hand of the Creator. Rejoice, bright constellation of holy stars shining in the firmament of the whole church. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. O oh, the glorious wonder! A mind depleted of its ore is shown to be full of the lustrous gold of grace and piety. A shaft sunk deep in the bowels of the earth is shown to be a ladder extending up to heaven, where Elizabeth and her companions ascend from the depths unto the heights of paradise. O holy martyrs, ye blessed ones, as ye delight in celestial joys, joys forget not us who celebrate the memory of your godly struggles, that with you 
we also may chant the angelic hymn, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The minds of men darkened by their fallen state are unable to devise for you hymns worthy of the pangs and sufferings ye endured, O holy passion bearers of Christ, for ye were like unto the youth of Ephesus who fell asleep in the cave, and that ye fell into the sleep of death, and a shaft sunk unto the earth, only to awaken in the splendor mansions of heaven, where ye now receive from us our poor praises. Rejoice, ye seven branch lamps, branch lamps stand burning, burning before, before the throne of God. Of God. Rejoice, glory of Alapiasus. Rejoice, ye who planted the tree of life amid the barren mountains and watered it with your blood. Rejoice, royal pie, passion bearers, adorned with kingly diadems, more precious than the gold and costly jewels. Rejoice, O soul, Barbara, devoted daughter of thy spiritual mother. Rejoice, ye who intercede for your compatriots, who find themselves amid suffering and exile. Rejoice, O Sergius, valiant confessor of the true faith. Rejoice, O brethren, equal in number up to the Trinity. Rejoice, O princes John, Igor, and Constantine, who were likened to the holy youths in the fiery furnace. Rejoice, O Vladimir, prince and martyr, who foresaw thine own suffering and death. Rejoice, ye who have washed your souls clean in the streams of your blood. Rejoice, ye who stand before the Savior in the ranks of the new martyrs and confessors. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. With what words of praises shall we reap a wreath of victory to, the, to adorn the new passion bearers of Alapayets for even to try to recount their manifold labors, our own weakness and hardness of heart put us to shame. For while they ever sought after the Lord, we ever stray farther away from him. Wherefore, come ye speedily to our aid and drive, out, and drive our enemies visible and invisible far away from us, that unvexed at, and at peace we may chant aloud unto God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We chant your praises, O holy new martyrs of Alapayevsk. For when faced with death, ye manifestly confess Christ as God in the presence of the ungodly. Wherefore the martyred nun Barbara received from the hand of God a wreath fashioned of truth and obedience. And her royal companions were endowed with twofold crowns of majesty and martyrdom for their struggles. And thus hath Christ the Lord, the judge of the contest, shown us all that is that it is meet to glorify them with such praises as these. Rejoice, boast of the Urals. Rejoice, ye who shone forth like rays out of a dark pit. Rejoice, ye who sanctified a lonely mine shaft. Rejoice, ye who were like unto Joseph, who was, who was likewise cast into a pit by envious brethren. Rejoice, ye who were like unto Daniel, who was thrown into the lion's den. Rejoice, ye who have summoned countless other new martyrs to the banquet of the bridegroom. Rejoice, ye who were welcomed to the mansions of heaven by your kin, the martyred Tsar and his holy family. Rejoice, ye who were slaughtered by the godless and unbelieving. Rejoice, O Elizabeth, who didst bind thy compassion's wounds and tend to their hurts. Rejoice, thou who didst encourage and strengthen them until the moment of their soul's departure. Rejoice, for thou didst chant fittingly hymns for their life ebbed away. Rejoice, Thou, who before an icon of the Savior didst surrender thine own soul into his hands. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. O all praised and venerable martyr Elizabeth, 
with other passion bears of Alapaesque, the martyrs Barbara, John, Igor, Constantine, Vladimir, and Sergius, accept this our meager hymnody of praise, which we offer to you in honor of the sufferings of violent death ye endured for Christ, and beseech the all-holy Trinity, our God, that we be delivered from the perils and evil circumstances which beset us throughout our life, that with you and all the new martyrs and confessors of Russia we may ever chant unto the omnipotent Lord of heaven and earth. Alleluia! 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 O oh, all praise and venerable martyr Elizabeth, with the other passion bearers of Alapayevsk, the martyrs Barbara, John, Igor, Constantine, Vladimir, and Sergius, Accept this our meager hymnody of praise, which we offer you in honor of the sufferings and violent death ye endured for Christ, and beseech the all-holy Trinity, our God, that we may be delivered from perils and evil circumstances which beset us throughout our life, that with you and all the new martyrs and confessors of Russia, we may ever chant unto the omnipotent Lord of heaven and earth, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O all praised and venerable martyr Elizabeth, with the other passion bearers of Alapaesque, the martyrs Barbara, John, Igor, Constantine, Val Vladimir, and Sergius, accept this our meager hymnody of praise, which we offer to you in honor of the sufferings and violent death ye endured for Christ and beseech the all-holy trinity, our God, that we be delivered from the perils and evil circumstances which beset us throughout our life, that with you and all the new martyrs and confessors of Russia we may ever chant unto the omnipotent God, Lord of heaven and earth. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The creator of the angels and Lord of all mankind led thee from the delusion of heresy to the divine knowledge of the truth, O blessed Elizabeth, that thy loving heart and soul might renew Christian love, which has grown cold in the land of Russia. For through thine efforts the hearts of men again warm to the word of God, and the master of all vouchsafe thee to live a life exalted above thy peers in love, humility, and fervent prayer. Wherefore we ever chant, Unto thee as is meet. Rejoice, Rejoice lamp burning with the love of God. Rejoice, handmaid of Christ the Lord. Rejoice, scroll wherein the Holy Spirit inscribed the Christian virtues. Rejoice, divinely wise princess and new martyr. Rejoice, daughter who forsake thy father's house and turn to holy orthodoxy. Rejoice, voice of prayer, which was never silent. Rejoice, ever-flowing fountain of loving kindness. Rejoice, blessed inhabitant of the Garden of Eden. Rejoice, vessel wherein the wine of gladness and the oil of healing are mingled together. Rejoice, upholder of the traditions of piety. Rejoice, treasure of house of compassion. Rejoice, radiant star, resplendent with heavenly glory. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, true model of Christian sacrifice. Come, all ye who love Christ, and let us offer up of him a praise unto the martyr nun Elizabeth, who was chosen by the Lord of hosts to serve as an example of Christian piety and love for those who desire to follow in his steps, for spurning the vanity of world possessions, rank, and cares. She dedicated her whole life to the aid of those in need. Wherefore it pleased Christ God, our Christ our God, to crown her ascetic labors with the diadem of martyrdom, and dwelling now in his heavenly kingdom, she make a supplication unto God, that he deliver from his fortunes and perils all who chant unto her with joy. Rejoice, O venerable martyr Elizabeth, 
true model of Christian sacrifice. O holy and wondrous Elizabeth, new martyr of Russia, with thy whole heart thou didst embrace the holy Orthodox faith and the Russian people, and until thy last breath thou didst serve them with fervor and love, thou didst endure threefold trials to the glory of the Holy Trinity, and thy royalty no haughtiness was found to be found, in thy monasticism thou wast not neglectful, and in thy martyrdom thou didst endure fully to the end. And now, O Bride of Christ, thou dost stand before the throne of the King of all, together with thy faithful companion, the nun Barbara, singing the thrice holy hymn to the Trinity, Holy Trinity. Pray fervently that the Russian land may be delivered from the godless ones and from all evil, for the forgiveness of our iniquities and for the strengthening and protection of our community, our family, our church, our city and nation, so that our souls may be saved. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen.